exploring a new RV park, putting on your shoes to get your hike on. And showing off some new products for the RV. Finally made it out, done for the day. And now I get to hit the road and RV. It had been a while since I had been out on a successful RV stop, so I headed up the road just about a half hour away from where I am to Chattahoochee, Florida. The Triple C RV Park has been really good. It's a short trip out of where I stay. I'm based out of Tallahassee, so it's just a quick about half hour up the road uh, west, uh, which makes it a quick weekend stop. The park is small, not a lot of spots, but it has uh, tent camping, it has pull-through sites, also has uh, cabins, so if you wanna just get away for the weekend and stay in a cabin, you can as well. Uh, the park has a lot of amenities. There's a pool, uh, a great uh, store at the front of the place. And uh, again, as you come into the sites, they're all pull through, real easy to get in and out of and hook up to. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been out on the road, so this has been a nice little trip. A, a place I definitely could see myself coming to again. So this is the back of the campgrounds, and it's uh, really peaceful, really quiet good shading, good place to be. Uh, so if you get a chance, make sure you check it out. Um, it's been a fun trip. One of the hardest things uh, when you're at RV parks and things like that is trying to find places to hike. Every day I get up in the morning uh, when I'm out camping and like to go on a good hike. So sometimes uh, there are great sites around if you're at state parks, things like that. But when you're at camping sites, it's kind of hard to find. This is what I found when I went out to my hike today. All right, out for my morning hike. One of the things I love to do, obviously, when I'm uh, out RVing is get a hike in. Uh, just, you know, get the energy being outside, and that's great. Problem with a lot of hikes when you go glamping uh, is that there are not a lot of places to go. So I see here I'm out on the freeway, or not freeway, but just a, a place nearby. Um, so I do miss that about state parks a lot because they usually have really good hiking trails. But, you know, when in Rome, you do as the Romans. So this is how I'm making my hike, getting my daily exercise in. Just another example of survival of the fittest. Hey, check this out, talking about survival of the fittest. You guys know what high lie is? Well, apparently, there used to be a big high lie place here. You can kind of see it there. Kind of cool, gonna check it out. Okay, so this highlight place, the Big Ben highlight place, is like something out of, I don't know, Planet of the Apes, you know, at the end where he rolls up on the beach and sees the Statue of Liberty. It's really bizarre and yet kind of interesting. Look at it. Can you imagine what some of the games were like, what it was like in its heyday? I might have to Google this one and check it out. Damn you! You did it! Damn you all to hell! So this is the first time I've ever been uh, camping in the fall since I just got my rig back in July up there. Yep, that's the Jedi Lounge. Uh, but since it's the fall, it's a little cold or a little chilly. Uh, and I have a small rig, so I didn't want to necessarily use the main heater. So I went out and picked up this. It's a Comfort Zone ceramic heater. Uh, comes with a molded carry handle for rear or um, front heat, I guess. Uh, it's a multi-purpose ceramic heater. 
and it's a small one now because again I have a small rig just 24 feet I think it'll do the job and for the most part once the day uh, sets up uh, it'll be warm so I won't necessarily need that just need it a little bit in the mornings looks pretty easy to use pretty sturdy oh, here's the handle and uh, gonna plug it in and see how this bad boy works Sleeping in the fall was uh, pretty good. Uh, got to actually open up the windows. So great heat, nice and toasty, keeping me warm. The other new product I picked up for my RV, and that was courtesy of a birthday present from my pops, thanks dad, is this Alveo Bluetooth uh, system. Now I had another one, you can see this one here, the mobile one, um, and it looks like this. Yeah, it's been pretty good, small, gets everything done that I need to, but this one clearly is bigger. I'm interested to find out what the sound quality will be like and how it sets up. So let's open it up, check it out, and I'll let you know. It definitely has a lot of stuff that it will do. Let's open it up if we can here. Inverter. Didn't know that was in there. Thanks, Dad. So, this is the unit. Great design. Gonna hook it up and see how it sounds. The audio quality in this is really good. Turn it down here. Uh, this is probably not where I'm going to leave it on a regular basis, uh, but there's a lot of bass in there. Uh, it sounds really good. A little bit more powerful than my other Bluetooth. So that's okay that it's a little bit different than the other one. I'll keep the other one in the rig just in case, but this one uh, really turning out to be nice. Uh, so again, uh, OVO, not sure I'm pronouncing it right, uh, but that's the new one. And anytime you can have some extra sound uh, in your rig uh, to make everything sound better, whether it's your movies or your computer uh, or just music, uh, it's nice to have it uh, in the RV. So two new products for the RV. Uh, I will put in the links down below in case you want to pick one up or uh, just look at a review on your own. But uh, two things to make being here a little bit better. So that's gonna do it for this vlog. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed some of the stuff we talked about. Uh, remember, if you like, uh, share this channel. Also subscribe. Uh, and if you wanna find me on social media, you can find me on the Twitter and the Gram at RV Jedi. And then of course, uh, my website, rvjedi.com. Thanks for watching and remember, get out there and RV.